Hi guys, so this video is going to be a super exciting one. If you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, then you will have seen that I made it into the top 30 of the I Am Freedom competition, which is a competition run by Freedom Makeup and I made it into the top 30 somehow, like what? And if that wasn't incredible enough, they sent the top 30 kind of winners, I guess, a big parcel to kind of use in the next round and when they emailed saying they were going to send us like a freedom makeup kit to compete in the next round because you can only use like all freedom makeup I expected there would maybe be like 10 items but that is not what they sent I can't actually lift this because it's so big so I posted a picture on my snapchat and asked if you guys wanted to see me do an unboxing video and I told you guys to screenshot the picture if you wanted to see an unboxing and nearly 200 of you screenshotted it so thank you guys I'm now going to be doing an unboxing <laughs> and I just want to start this video by saying I'm so unbelievably grateful to Freedom Cosmetics or Freedom Makeup for firstly like allowing me to be in the top 30 like that is an absolute dream come true I couldn't believe it like when I found out I literally screamed and texted my parents because they weren't like in the house with me but I was literally screaming and like jumping up and down and it's just the most exciting opportunity I have possibly ever had um, so yeah hopefully I make it into the next round but you know it's been amazing to take part so far and I think like for them to just send all this stuff is so unbelievably generous, so thank you so much. And I don't think I'm going to be able to swatch everything, otherwise this video is going to be like two hours long. So I'm just going to jump straight into this box. So the first thing that I have seemed to have pulled out of the box is this Pro Artist Pad in Black Arts. And this is actually an eyeshadow palette. Um, and I'd seen this online and I'd been very tempted to buy it. I just broke my nail. And I broke the box. Oops. What I find quite cool about this is it looks like an iPad and then it's got like this case and it opens up and there's just all these gorgeous eyeshadows um, Like I'm not quite sure how many eyeshadows are in here, but there's definitely a lot and these look absolutely beautiful They're just loads of different matte and shimmery neutral colors My favorite one is probably this one down here. It looks gorgeous The next thing is a pink version and this is the Pro Artist Pad Studio to go um, and this one is very similar to the other one. This one has stuff for your face as well So it has eyeshadow colors here, which again are really pretty like neutral colors There's some really pretty like pinky ones around here like pinky shimmers. Oh, I just I just stabbed one of them by accident um, And then on the bottom there's a bronzer a blush and bronzer duo and then a highlighter I'm just gonna have to swatch this highlight. I really like the texture of that highlighter I don't really know if you can see it on my hand because I'm not very good at showing that stuff unless it's on my face like it is right now. Oh, and I forgot to say, I did actually unwrap all this stuff when it arrived because I was so excited. I didn't even think to do an unboxing. Like, I didn't think that would be a thing. Um, so I literally unwrapped everything. It was like it was Christmas. Like, seriously, it was like Christmas 2.0. I unwrapped everything. It was all wrapped in bubble wrap. So I have seen all of this stuff already, but I'm just unboxing it again for you guys to see. So there was then this little box. Somehow I managed to like brush my hair over this box and get loads of my hairs in it. Nice. So the first one, I actually have a couple of colours of this on my eyes today. This is the Pro 12 Audacious 3 and this is absolutely beautiful. The colours I have on my eyelid is this shimmery pink one here and then this one is through my crease um, and this is gorgeous. It is very kind of neutral, pinky shimmery. There is then another one which is the Pro 12 Dreamcatcher palette and this one has some more kind of out there colours. It's got like a baby pink, some purples, blue, green and then a few neutrals as well. Well, that one looks beautiful actually. And then there is a super out there one which is called Pro 12 Chasing Rainbows and this one has just got a load of neon brights. I cannot wait to use the, these three colours here. I think they will look amazing um, like kind of pink colours. Um, there's also a neon yellow which I think is really interesting. I've never seen that in an eyeshadow palette before. Um, and then there's some kind of like navies and blues and purples and yeah I just think these palettes look beautiful and they're also super, super cheap. Like, if you guys didn't already know, everything that Freedom sells is probably under like five pounds. Um, maybe not the big palettes, but like the smaller stuff, it's all like under five pounds, like it's so cheap. 
Next, we got given the Pro Strobe Powder Palette and the Pro Strobe Cream Palette. I haven't unwrapped the cream one yet, um, but this is just what the box looks like. It basically looks exactly the same as the powder one, but I guess they're just like different formulas. I actually used the powder one to contour today and I absolutely love it. So this is what the palette looks like and it does come with this little angled brush. I forgot that this was in there today and I didn't use it, but I kind of wish I had. But I'll definitely be using this in the next challenge because the next challenge is strobing and sculpting so I'm sure this little kit will come in very handy um, but yeah like I said I did use this today I think it is fantastic for pale people um, I used which one did I use this one as you can see there is a kind of dark brown matte contour colour and there's a, like a light brown and I think this is absolutely perfect for pale skin. It's like a cool toned light brown and I have this to contour today and then I also put a bit of this um, light powder under my eyes and I also have the highlight on my face right now which I absolutely love. It is beautiful, like it's so shimmery and pale and oh my god I'm obsessed. Like. This is what it looks like on my cheekbones. I actually have another one of their highlighters layered over the top because why not put two highlighters on your face instead of one? I think this is definitely gonna be a staple in my kind of contour things. The next thing they sent is all of their like fixing sprays and primer waters. I did actually just buy myself the anti-shine fixing spray. Um, I'm so happy to have another one because I really love that stuff. Um, I mentioned it in a haul video I think recently. Um, they then sent the normal fixing spray which is the non-anti-shine one. Well. It fixes your makeup but it's not like mattifying and then there is the Pro Studio Priming Water um, so I'm very excited to try these out. There was also this Pro Studio Oil Control Base Anti Shine Lotion um, and I used this today as kind of like a clear liquid primer, it just has a little pump and this is what it looks like, it looks a bit dodge, it's literally just a kind of clear moisturizing primer thing and now that is all over my hand don't really want that there now it's all over the palm of my hand uh, let's just keep rubbing it in and hope for the best at least my hands are now primed for all the swatches they then sent four of their highlighters which are oh, yes highlight please get in my belly not in my belly get on my face this first one is in diffused i'm gonna swatch all of these because this one I think is supposed to be quite similar to the ambient lighting powders. It's not particularly shiny, it's literally just a little bit like radiant, so that is this one here. I don't think you can actually see it very well. Um, and then this one called Ambient, funnily enough, is also supposed to be similar to the ambient lighting powders. Um, so this is what Ambient looks like, it's just kind of a less pinky version of that one. And this one is definitely the most matte out of all of them. I think it's just more of a setting powder. And then there are two super glowy highlights, which are the Pro Highlights in Brighton, which is this pink one. And the other one is called Glow, which is gold. And this is the second one that I have layered on my cheeks. I don't really know if you can tell, like, but this highlighter is gorgeous. Like, this is what it looks like. It's all kind of like duochrome-y. I don't know, it's like gold, but it kind of reflects a little bit of pink. Um, it's beautiful, like, yes. Hopefully you can see this one a bit better. That's the gold one here on my hand. And then the pink one, which is in the shade Brighton. This one is also a little bit duochrome. That's what this one looks like. Um, and this one, swatched, looks like this. Um, oh, I don't really know if you can see. I'm really sorry, by the way, guys. My camera's autofocus is kind of broken. So if I go blurry in this video, I really do apologize. Next, they sent every single one of the like pro lipstick kits um, I'm just gonna put these down before they go everywhere the first one that I'm picking up is the uh, far far away or sorry the far away collection I have seen this on YouTube and I've been really intrigued by it it's got a kind of purpley bluey color gold it's got a gunmetal a white and a black I believe oh everything just nearly slid off the bed my god could you imagine if all the stuff broke I would actually die the next one is the red collection there is also the pink collection which is a load of pink colors the now collection which is kind of it seems to be more like bright and vampy shades. There's like a coral and orange and then some darker vampier ones. There's the vamp collection, which I like the look of a lot. And then the final one is the bear collection, which is a load of nudie brown colors, which I like the look of 
a lot because you guys know that I like my nudie brown lipsticks. Next we have this Freedom Bronzed Professional Bronzer in the shade Professional Pro Bronze. Um, this looks like it could be a bit too dark for me. It's just like embossed with the Freedom logo um, and this looks like a super matte uh, bronzer which is cool. By the way guys I just want you to imagine like my face when I opened this box. I was so unbelievably excited, like you have no idea. They then sent in the box the Pro Studio Strobe Cream, which excites me because it has a holographic label. And then there is the Pro Eye Primer, which I'm quite excited to try because I've never tried an eye primer before. I know that might seem crazy, but I just put concealer on my eyes, so I'm quite excited to see what this does. Next is the Pro Matte Longwear Foundation, and this is in the shade number two. And I actually have this on my face today. It is such a good color for pale pale skin people if you guys are looking for a cheap kind of pale foundation if you have a similar skin tone to me I know today I have a little bit of fake tan on I don't really know if you can tell so my face and my neck don't really match but this is such a pale color I think it is great for pale skin people we then have the eyebrow pomade and the duo brow powder in the shades taupe in both of them and I actually own both of these myself absolutely love them they're both amazing eyebrow products then there is the pro conceal and correct palette and this is in the shade light I have this color of the concealer under my eyes today. Then there is three of the Pro Contour Kits, um, all in different shades. We have Fair, um, and this just looks like it has a highlight. Is it a highlight? Um, yeah, highlighter and a bronzer. We then have one in Medium 2, which is just a darker version. And then this one is in Medium 1, but somehow I managed to lose the box. I don't really know how that happened. So this is what, oh, nearly dropped it. This is what medium one looks like, just for reference. Next is two of the Pro Contour Sticks. These are just little contour sticks, and I used this one on my face today. It's got a kind of contour side and a brightening kind of highlighty side. Um, this is in medium one, this is the one I used today, and they also sent medium two. There is then two mascaras. This is the Volume Mascara and the Long Length Mascara, so I'm excited to try those because I haven't tried any Freedom mascaras before. There is then a pro eyeliner, ooh, nearly dropped it. There is then a pro eyeliner in ultra black. This is just insane, like the number of stuff they sent us, like I cannot believe it, like it's, it, it's like my birthday. They sent three of the pro blush and highlight palettes and I'm actually super excited because I got one of the highlight palettes a couple of weeks ago. I absolutely love it and I don't have any of these ones. Peach and Baked. This one looks absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to unbox all of these because I've already been filming for 20 minutes and I've still got quite a lot to get through. Um, the next one is in bronze and baked, which is just a load of bronzy colours. I wish I'd had these when I did the highlight challenge. They would have come in super handy. And then the final one, which also looks beautiful, is in pink and baked. Um, so these are all just beautiful blush palettes. I cannot wait to experiment with these because I don't actually own that many blushes um, and I've definitely been trying to get into it more recently, so super excited to try these. The next two things are the Pro HD Brow Palettes, which is crazy. I cannot believe they sent these either. This one is in medium dark and this one is in fair medium. I did open up the fair medium one briefly just to have a little peek. Um, so this comes with every single colour of like eyebrow uh, powder that you would really need. It comes with a highlighter for under your brow bone and a concealer to clean up around your brows. It also comes with a little brush and some eyebrow stencils which I find the idea of those very cool and an interesting concept. I haven't done any eyebrow stencils before so I would definitely be giving this a try. The next thing that was in here was this little freedom makeup bag which is the pro artist little makeup bag thing and I think I would definitely be giving this one away because in here is three of the things that they already gave us so I'm not too sure why they gave us this but thank you very much because that is amazing um, so the first thing in here is another one of the pro strobe creams there is then the pro contour kit in medium 2 which is the one that I showed you guys earlier and then finally in here is one of the pro melts liquid lipsticks in the shade applause which is like a super hot pink color um, and then obviously it comes in this little makeup bag as well I think this would make such a lovely little gift for one of you guys. The final bits of makeup in here, I can't actually hold all of them because there's so many. Like, seriously, you guys, when I opened these bits and I got to the bottom of the box, I actually screamed a little bit because there was so many. Like, what the hell? Sorry, I'm falling off my bed. I'm so excited. So, they basically sent probably all of their pro melts 
Um, <laughs> I'm gonna just briefly talk through all of these because I can't really talk about all of them because otherwise we will be here for about 10 years. So the first one is a Pro Melts liquid lipstick in the shade Sold Out, which is like a really pretty kind of orangey red colour. Jammy Dodger, love that name so much. Such a great British name. This is called Sugar Fix. Next is in the shade Debut. Oh, this colour looks beautiful. Look at this colour. It's like a nudie kind of pink colour. That looks gorgeous. This one's my favourite. I think this one is in D Ream, if I'm right. Yeah, I've seen this online. Oh, this one looks so pretty. This one's like a nudie brown colour in the shade D Ream. I love this one too. This is in the shade No Heroes, and it's kind of like a berry mauvey colour. This one looks beautiful. I'm sorry that wasn't in focus. My camera is so annoying. Oh, this one's so pretty as well. This one is in Drama, and it's kind of like a hot, berry pink colour. Next is this pretty um, coral colour, and this is called Masterpiece. We then have Kisses Waiting, which is kind of like a hot, baby pink colour. Then we have Steal the Show, which looks like a really pretty, like, bright, kind of pinky red. Come on, camera, focus, please. Oh, yes! Blue, yes, please. This one is in called in called. This one is called Just Do It and it's a blue colour. I love this one already. I want to try this right now. I'm going to swatch it in a minute. We then have another one of the pink ones in Applause. Oh yes! Vampy colour. This one's like a vampy brown. Oh my god, I love it. This one is in TGIF and it's kind of like a ready dark brown colour which is beautiful. We then have Smooth which is a really interesting kind of flamingo-y purpley pinky colour. Yes, bright purple, yes, yes, yes. This one is in Wanted, and this is beautiful, oh my gosh. I think I've said they're all beautiful, but they are all beautiful. I've literally said that about all of them. This one is in Melts Up. Oh wait, no, this is just an up. So, I'm actually gonna swatch a couple of these, because I just can't resist them. Okay, yes please. They are a super pigmented lip gloss. Can you guys see this? That was just one swipe. I love this blue one. This is in Just Do It. I really want to wear this now, actually. This next one is in Debut, which is the kind of pinky nude colour. That is also beautiful. The final one that I'm swatching is Wanted, which is this amazing purple colour. And that is this one here. This video is literally going to be like half an hour long, so if you guys have stayed to the end, then you guys are troopers. I give you guys a high five. But the final things that they sent over are some cleansing stuff for your face. So I guess like once you put on all this makeup, you gotta take it all off somehow. So they sent us firstly these Be Pure Sensitive Micellar Cleansing Wipes. They then sent the Be Pure Micellar Water, which again, I'm super excited to try. And then the final thing they sent over is some cotton buds. And these are just these super drug, 100% pure cotton buds and these ones are pointed which is really good those are going to be really good for like cleaning up eyeliner mistakes and stuff like that so yeah so that is everything that I got from the freedom top 30 box and I am blown away by all this stuff like literally I was expecting there to be like a small makeup bag with maybe a foundation concealer like mascara maybe an eyeshadow palette and then a couple of lipstick colors or something like that, I don't even know. I did not think they would send this much stuff. Like, they went a little bit crazy, but thank you so much to Freedom. If you're watching this video, you probably not. But if you are, then I just wanna say thank you so much for all of this stuff. Like, it is an absolute dream. Like, <laughs> like what <laughs> the next challenge for the freedom competition is the strobe and sculpt challenge um so that video has to be uploaded by the 4th of july and then i believe you guys can start voting on the website on the 8th of july you have to go onto the i am freedom uh website i think to vote uh but the votes open i believe on the 8th of july so you can't really do anything until then but obviously i will keep you guys updated so make sure you're following my social media like twitter and instagram which is just so does nails so you can kind of keep up updated with when the voting opens and stuff and I'll probably mention it in a video as well. So I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hi guys, so this video is going to be a Depop haul as you can probably tell by the title. 